The Springfield Diocese has announced new efforts to be transparent with the public about clergy sex abuse. The 22 News I team discovered this announcement comes just two days before Bishop Rosansky is scheduled to meet with a sex abuse survivor. 22 News I team reporter Tamara Sikarczyk dug deeper into the accusations that survivor has made against a late Springfield Bishop. That man has accused late Bishop Christopher Weldon of sexually abusing him back in the 1960s. An advocate for that sex abuse survivor told the I team that he reported those allegations to the review board last year and they haven't done anything about it, but the review board has denied those claims. Springfield Diocese spokesman Mark DuPont told the I team the survivor reported abuse allegations against two other late priests to the diocesan review board in June of 2018, Joseph Clarence Forend and Edward Othier. He claims that the the chair of the review board said the victim mentioned Bishop Weldon in his testimony, but never accused him of sexual abuse, something other board members have agreed with. But we also spoke to Olin Horn, an advocate for the survivor. He denied that claim and said another witness heard him report the allegations against Weldon to the board at that meeting. Bishop Rosansky is now scheduled to meet with the victim this Thursday to address the allegations. DuPont said the bishop agreed to the meeting because he's concerned about the allegations, but Horn told the I team. The bishop only agreed to the meeting after repeated requests. We also know at least two other people have accused Bishop Weldon of sexual abuse over the years, but DuPont told the I team both of those allegations were dropped after they were found not to be credible. In Springfield, I'm Tamara Sikarzik working for you with the 22 News I team.